I'm here with Abby Pierce, Cougar Female Athlete of the Week. Abby is the Athlete of the Week for the second time this season, this time for her NACC Championship performers in the women's discus. For anybody that hasn't seen this interview, Abby, could you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? I'm Abby Pierce. I'm an exercise science major. I'm from Clinton Township, Michigan, and I attended Lutheran High Northwest. Well, first off, congratulations on graduating yesterday with Thanks. Rashada in the special ceremony. It has to be a special performance to be able to go out in the NAC championship, something you've battled for for years, and go out on top in the discus. Yeah, it was awesome. Going in, it, I was first, and then after prelims, I was seated fourth. And then on my very last throw, I came out and won it, which was amazing. Now, Coach Phil talked about it was kind of tough rolling on Saturday with their uh, crosswind coming. So it made for some difficult throws. But you really battled through, and it, it's that senior moment that really you've been waiting for for all four years to be able to just come out on top. And it had to feel really good to be on top of the podium at the end. Yeah, it felt amazing. Like you said, the crosswind um, was a little difficult. There were a lot of people who were fouling a lot of throws, and that was me. I fouled, fouled two of mine in prelims. My third one got me into finals, and then my first two in finals were also fouls out of the sector because of the wind and just the way the ring was. But getting that last throw and being able to come out on first as a senior was amazing because I skipped graduation to be able to throw discus, and just that was such a rewarding moment to be able to win and be like, I skipped graduation for this. Now, it, it was a, it's a tough decision, obviously, for you come to school, obviously, for the degree, but track has been a part of your life for so long. And as you said, it had to be so rewarding just to be able to know that it all paid off on Saturday and then to get to do the special graduation on Monday. Yeah, it was awesome being able to graduate with my best friend who also skipped track, Rashada, to, or skipped graduation to do track was awesome. It was really rewarding. I've been doing track my whole life, all 12 years since fourth grade, and track is a big part of my life. And my parents were a little upset that I didn't walk with my class, but they understood that track is huge for me, and I was going to be myself, and track was it. So they were understanding, and they were appreciated that Concordia did a special ceremony for me, Rashada. Now, you aren't done yet. You have a couple last chance meets coming up. Still trying to qualify for nationals. You're right in the mix. What do you have to do to kind of just, there's a little tinkering to be done to see if you can get into the national mix. Yeah, I'm really close. Um, me and my coach, Lena, we have a plan. We figured out that my best throwing day is day 12. And so we are going to three different last chance meets, and she's hoping that that third one will get me in. So it's just a lot of hard work and being outside, like today I just had practice in the rain, being out there just doing as much as I can, rain or shine, to perfect my throws and just being able to do it. Well, congratulations on the NACC championship throw last Saturday and on graduating. And good luck in the last chance meets. Hopefully we're talking to you at nationals here very soon. Yeah. Thank you.